Today, you'll discover the real health benefits of probiotics, such as yogurt, fermented milk, and the famous kefir. Tell me in the comments if you've taken or are taking any probiotics. You know what these foods have in common. They are rich in bacteria, a fundamental part of our gut. In the midst of these disturbing discoveries, a simple solution has emerged that could prevent and even treat disease. I'm talking about probiotics, but do they really improve health? Or is this the biggest food scam of all time? The truth is, probiotics have been part of our daily lives long before they were called that. Thousands of years ago, when there were no refrigerators or chemical additives to keep food from spoiling, people used fermentation, a canning process that relies on nutrients and bacteria. At this point, the bacteria that already live naturally in the manioc will eat the sugars in the manioc itself and turn them into lactic acid. This is fermentation. The lactic acid accumulates in the manioc and acts as a natural disinfectant. It prevents the proliferation of other bacteria and fungi that could break down the manioc. And with fermentation, we have food that can last longer. Humans have begun to use fermentation not only to prevent food from spoiling, but also to create new foods. Let's look at milk. We can add fermenting bacteria and make yogurt, dairy drinks, and cheese. But in this case, what we end up with is a fermented food that, unless it's heated to high temperatures or given chemical preservatives, is still full of live bacteria. And that's the point, because consuming these bacteria can have health benefits. So instead of calling the bacteria in these dairy products just bacteria, they are called probiotics, a word of Greek origin that means for life. The most common probiotic foods are those derived from milk, such as yogurt. The most common probiotic foods are those made from milk, such as yogurt, fermented milk like Yakult and similar, and kefir, which is made from milk mixed with sugar grains containing bacteria. But today we can also find probiotic capsules or sachets in pharmacies that contain a mixture of powdered bacteria. Can a simple yogurt or a probiotic capsule really act on our body to prevent disease? What is so special about the bacteria in these probiotic foods? Your health depends on the bacteria that live inside you and most of them are in your gut. They are there for their own sake in a warm place full of food. But in return, they stimulate the production of various substances interesting for us, including anti-inflammatories and even hormones capable of regulating our cells. The fact is, you have the tools in your gut to keep your body healthy, or you should. In fact, poor diet, illness, and even stress can kill some beneficial bacteria and throw everything out of whack. This is where probiotic foods come in. The hypothesis is that if you eat beneficial bacteria, they will help keep the body in balance and prevent or even cure disease. Makes sense, doesn't it? In order for this to happen, probiotic products must actually contain the right bacteria and in sufficient quantities. They can't just say on the label that they do and there's nothing in them. Manufacturers have to tell her exactly what bacteria they've put in the food, prove that they're there and that they don't cause health problems. The second step is to ensure, through scientific studies, that the bacteria make it into the gut and are actually beneficial. In 2021, Brazilian scientists investigated whether this was the case with the fermented milks of six well-known brands. Lo and behold, the results showed that the bottles of all the brands contained around 100 million live bacteria, enough for the products to truly be called probiotics. And these bacteria were able to withstand the acidic pH of the stomach, indicating that they would easily make it to the intestines. Most interestingly, the bacteria isolated from the fermented milks produced substances that, in the laboratory, prevented the multiplication of bacteria that cause food poisoning, such as salmonella. 
This makes us think that drinking fermented milk could protect us from dangerous bacteria, but there's a catch. These results were observed in the laboratory. Does the same thing happen in real life? If you drink probiotic yogurt or fermented milk every day, will your health improve? What are the real benefits of probiotic foods? By definition, probiotics provide some health benefit. The question is, what is that benefit to the consumer? And most importantly, what benefit is the manufacturer using to sell the product? Because there are a lot of empty promises out there that aren't based on science. If you've already subscribed to the channel, you've probably heard me say that it's important to have good human studies before drawing conclusions about treatments. What well-done studies do show is that for some diseases, taking probiotics makes no difference. To take just a few examples, fermented milk in yogurt has no effect on regulating blood pressure and cholesterol levels. We also do not have sufficient evidence that probiotic foods or sachets prevent allergic reactions, asthma, rhinitis, or cancer. You can even say that you saw someone show a study that taking probiotic powder every day improves dermatitis. For example, yes, there are studies that show a positive effect, but in general, these studies are poorly done. I want to let you know that I'm going to leave a link for you to click on in the comments below with our herbs and food program with recipes that explain how to keep your organs healthier. This way you can prevent future health problems with homemade and natural recipes. There's even a tutorial that teaches you how to grow these herbs at home to improve the health of each of your organs. Take a look and then come back and tell our team what you think, okay? They don't take into account other aspects of the patient's life, such as diet and stress, which are known to affect the skin. Could it be the probiotic or something the person has changed in their routine that has made them less stressed? Also, different studies show very different effects. In some cases it works, in other cases it doesn't. And this is just an example of how probiotics can be sold as good for one disease but when you look at it in depth, it's not quite like that. But don't be discouraged. This is not the end of probiotics. There are good studies showing that they work against other diseases. Studies show that taking certain types of probiotics daily improves symptoms and quality of life. This is because they have a less diverse population of bacteria in the gut. So some functions that would be performed by the bacteria, there are compromised. Probiotics normalize what is out of balance. And the same reasoning applies to people with lactose intolerance. Several studies have shown that daily consumption of some probiotic yogurts and even kefir improves lactose digestion. But be aware that the results vary greatly depending on the type of bacteria present in the kefir and yogurt, so medical and nutritional monitoring is essential to indicate which ones really work and you're not wasting your money. Finally, probiotics reduce the risk of respiratory tract infections in children, adults, and the elderly. Those who consumed probiotics had a 41% lower risk of developing respiratory infections. These results were seen with daily consumption of at least one billion bacteria, mainly Lactobacilli plantarum and Lactobacilli paracasei, for more than three months. And this time, I'm going to explain it in detail to show you that you can't just drink a Yakult a day and think you're protected. Keep in mind that these fermented milks contain an average of 100 million bacteria, so you'd have to drink about 10 Yakults a day to get the effect of the study. That's why there are medical and nutritional treatments indicated in specific cases with probiotics in capsule or sachet form, and even some brands of kefir that have this amount. The main message I want to leave you with from this video is to really think before you take probiotics or anything else that tells you it's good. Are you taking them for the right reasons? What the medical evidence shows is that probiotic foods can have positive health effects. They are nutritious foods, rich in vitamins, antioxidants, and anti-inflammatories but probiotics aren't all the wonder they're made out to be, and for some conditions, there's no evidence of benefit. 
This information is often omitted, so keep an eye out and always be cautious. Did you like the video? Click the like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our health tips, and ring the bell. It's very important that you share this knowledge with your friends and family because when it comes to your health, it's worth sharing, so please do. So what's the next video you're going to watch? I'll leave you with my recommendation. Until the next video, thank you and stay healthy.